I like bass instruments, but the problem with bass instruments is they're always really expensive. Because to build something that goes low, you have to make it really big. You know, like tubas are extra long, and upright basses are really big on the inside, and bass clarinets are so long that their keys have to reach really long just to change the pitch. And you see, this is a problem, but I found a way to solve it. This was the first bass instrument I built. It's a two inch pipe inside of a three inch pipe filled with water and you blow in the top of it. It resonates much like a slide whistle, but it's much larger than a slide whistle. And to pick it up, you have to use a rope. So one way to make it louder and lower is to buzz your lips or to buzz a reed instead of just blowing the air through a fipple. But the problem with this is buzzing your lips closes off one end of the pipe. I mean, think of a didgeridoo. You have to blow in one end, but the other end has to be open. The only way you could change the pitch is by adding a slide or a bunch of keys. And keys are out because they're just really mechanically complex and expensive, and you couldn't really do that with PVC pipe anyway. Um, but sliding is an option I considered. But see, the problem with sliding is I use water-based slides, like the water actually changes the pitch inside the pipe. If you think of the pipe as just having two ends, one on which you put your mouth, and the other one on which there's a slide, then this can't possibly work, because there's no way for the air to go in or out of the pipe. But if you think outside of the box, if you put your mouth on the side of the pipe to resonate it, rather than the end, you can actually build something like that. And that's what I did. And it goes a lot lower, an octave lower, and it's probably at least twice as loud, so I'm satisfied. It has two registers for extra range, and you can change between those two registers with your left hand by either closing or opening a tone hole, which effectively moves the end of the pipe from a shorter length to a longer length for a different range of pitches. So the total range is about an octave and a fifth, and it's very low.